guys, what's up everyone? Welcome to Young Titan World. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. We're going to be talking about one particular movie. And you know the movie? Because the movie is so freaking exciting. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> it's so crazy. I mean, it was so, so awesome. Okay? I have, you know, when people hyped up John Wick, I was like, okay, let's check it out. But then we saw an old man making headshots every freaking time. And I guess I was supposed to go along with it because that was what it was. An old guy trying to do stunt moves and doing the best he can. I can't hate him for it. But this was on an entirely different level. Jason Statham, my dudes. And that guy don't miss. He don't miss, no sir, no sir, not day, no day, no time to wait, no. No, sir. Because he was absolutely incredible. Uh, the movie we're talking about is Beekeeper. Now, I know what you're going to say. We're already oversaturated with so many different kinds of secret spy things. You know, so, so many secret government operations, so many government teams and tactical crew. Oh my God, I can't take it anymore. We're not gonna do it anymore. No, no, listen to me, listen to me. If there's one that has gained my attention, all right, it is Beekeeper, okay? Beekeeper, I honestly was so reluctant to watch it. And it's so weird because I saw it every single time I was out there fishing for movies to download, to watch, and it was right there in my face. And I was like, eh, I don't think so. I don't think so. And it was the best movie I've ever watched. Oh God, oh my God. It was so good. I mean, like, let's, let's start with story night. Okay, so I've already spied it out. Uh, Jason Statham, the woman who was a lady, she was a favorite of mine and Bill Cosby because of how sexy she looked. I probably had a crush on her when I was a crit when I was a kid, but damn, she's also really great at acting. She was in Creed. Um, yeah, and she's a really great actress too. So the storyline goes like this, okay? Apparently, <laughs> oh my god, it's just so good. It's just so it makes John Wick look like trash, okay? I'm telling you, I am telling you, if a sequel comes out of this shit, it is just going to be something I love, okay? Um, anyways, let's talk about it, all right? Uh, before we get into it, I want to thank you, every, thank everyone for getting us to 61K, uh, 61K plays on our uh, channel, on our podcast. I really do appreciate it. You guys have no idea how much this means to me, and I really appreciate you guys a lot. Now, that being said, let's get into it. So, for Beekeeper, Beekeeper is talking about a retired beekeeper. Now, they say it, uh, <laughs> everyone just throws their head in different directions, like, ah! Oh, beekeeper. Oh, beekeeper. Really? Really? You guys aren't to be allowed beekeeper? I don't have time for a beekeeper. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I'm so manic today. Um, I want to take it. I, I want to take it a down notch. Okay, so I don't freak you guys out. So, anyways, uh, we're talking about a beekeeper uh, who's staying alongside this neighbor who really likes him. Uh, she takes care of him and everything, and he's really appreciative of that. And she's like uh, an old woman, you know, like in her 50s. And what happens is that she gets to, she makes this call because of something that shows up on her laptop. Uh, it's basically those people that call you to scam you. And honestly, I loved it so much because it's such a real life situation because there are so many people who are being scammed today because of these exact same kind of calls. So um, she, the call goes through, she gets in contact with one of the fraudsters who is actually the boss of the place. And um, she goes through the entire process and she loses over $2 million worth of money. And it goes straight through her head and she puts a bullet into that hole. So she dies. And then, uh, yeah, that's basically it. She's dead. And, you know, because of the fact that, you know, that one good person in the world that took care of this guy that 
Honestly, she shouldn't have trusted because he should have been mad suspicious. But she took care of the guys who made them feel at home. She did all the good things. And then this happened to her. So she, he later realizes that, okay, the reason why the woman's dead is because she committed suicide. Now the suicide that she committed was not of her own volition, but because she was, you know, you know, she was, she was cleaned. She was cleaned of all financial um, holdings. And that really, 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 that was the first bullet shot into her head before she took the other one. And it was, uh, it, it really got to him and really made him angry. And he made a statement so profound that when you take it's, uh, when you take candy from a baby or when you steal from a child, the child has people who take care of them. You know, it's like they've got, they've got parents, they've got uncles, aunties, nieces, nephews, they've got guardians who are taking care of them. But then when you talk about a grown up, when somebody steals from a grown up, usually no one cares. You see, honestly, when you're a grown up, people expect you to be more responsible. You know, it's like you, you are old. Take care of yourself, you know. But not everyone's like that. Not everyone gets to be like, you can't like have all those windows closed. Some people take advantage of your kindness, and that's what leads to stuff like this. So, guy finds out that, oh, she was actually tricked, then she lost all her money, and now what she's gonna do is quite, uh, what he's gonna do is absolutely, you know, barbaric. So, he goes back, you know, fuck, he's retired. Basic John Wick kind of shtick, you know? I'm retired, I don't live that kind of life anymore, and then something tragic happens, switch, it's flipped, and now we are going to kill every single person on the planet. That is basically how it's gonna be. So he does that. He, uh, the flip is switched, uh, the Kindle has been lighted, and it's like we're just like going through the same kind of path that John Wick did. Only this time, there is no pain for John Wick. <laughs> okay, it's like, I, I'm, I'm just saying that with this one, there is no bulletproof suits, but there is no injury on the guy. The guy is so smooth, so clean, and so well-versed in the art of killing people that he don't even use the gun, but he kill a lot of bros. He bagging a lot of bodies, even without a bullet. <laughs> it's just so insane. It's so beautiful. I can watch it again. Honestly, I'm gonna watch it again. I have to watch it again. I, it was just, it's so intense, and it was so scary. He kept on just taking apart guns, and I was like, oh my god, that is so sexy. I have to learn how to do that. Maybe my girl will fall for me if I know how to do that, and I was like, <laughs> gun, <laughs> unarmed. <laughs> Take me now, young titan. Take me. <laughs> okay, that's just weird. Anyways, so um, so he takes down a couple of people and he's in a, like a beeline heading straight for the cause of everything. Now, I know they go out of their way to talk about the beekeepers and their priorities uh, in a way that makes them sound cooler. But honestly, they don't even need to. He doesn't. It's like I know there were so, some one lines that they made were, which were like, yeah. Maybe you didn't need to say that. Honestly, I would have been okay if he was silent the entire time because the action, the honestly, the action was good enough. It was more than good enough. The way he was killing people didn't even mean anything. How he took down the SWAT team with the elevator thing, that, that was just like big brain time. Big fucking brain time. Like I have no, I have not. I have no doubt in that. I <laughs> probably have to make a bar too. The point is, uh, Beekeeper ended with him killing the guy that started it all. The son of the, the president. The son of the president, yeah. The son of the president. She had to step down and uh, she basically had to step down because she was no longer in charge. And that's like how everything became like so fucking crazy because what they thought was that, um, uh, what they thought was that the mother was in charge 
of it all. Like she wasn't, you know, she wasn't in charge of it all. 